Hi, today we're going to be talking about two-step equations. Like the name implies, there's going to be two steps required to solve them. In the blue cloud, you see the familiar one-step equations that we've been using, one, two, three, and four. And in the green, you see the first step to solving all of those. In the blue cloud, those one-step equations, there was only that one step to do. Whatever I have in green, you would do that, then you'd be done. In two steps, two step equations, which are in the orange cloud, there's going to be two steps to do. And you can see in green, I've also written the first step for each one. Let's look at these a little bit more closely. If you look at the first row, those equations are very similar. 2x plus 6 and 2x minus 6, and they both equal 12. In both cases, we have to get rid of the 6 first. The reason for that is with two-step equations, you always do the addition or subtraction first. You think about it like order of operations and working backwards. Usually in order of operations, we have PEMDAS, you would usually save addition and subtraction for last. But in solving equations, algebra, we have to go backwards. So we would actually start with, with addition and subtraction and work our way backwards. So in the two-step equation number one, we would subtract six from both sides, and from the two-step equation number two, we would add six to both sides, because that would be the opposite of each of those addition and subtraction steps. Now let's look at the three and four. Similar setup, we have x over two plus six, and we have x over two minus six. We are again gonna start with the addition or subtraction. We're undoing it, we're working backwards. So we start with either subtracting six from both sides if the six is positive, or if the six is negative, we will add six to both sides because it's the opposite. Let's try some of these examples out. We're gonna start with number one. Number one is like two-step equation number one. It's like this very first example up here. You can divide your equation in half, so you can see the two sides. Our goal of solving equation is to get x or the variable by itself. In this case, that's n. There's a four bothering the n and there's a five bothering the n. We're not worried about the negative 26 because that's on the other side of the equation. So we have to decide if we're going to work with the four or the five first. We would work with the four first because you always add or subtract first. The five is being multiplied, so that's not gonna come until later. So I'm gonna subtract four to both sides. What happens here is that the plus four goes away. The minus four makes it go away. So what I'm left with is the five N, and I'm gonna drop that down. Five N equals. On the right side, I have same sign, so I'm gonna to add to get 30. Keep the same sign to make it negative. So five N equals negative 30. Now this is a one-step equation. So if we look at our one-step equations in the blue cloud, this is like one-step equation number three. So I need to divide both sides by five in order to find what n is. Divide both sides by five, and I get n equals negative six. If I wanted to check it, it would work out. Five times negative six plus four. When you're checking, you have to do regular order of operations. You're not working backwards. You're not solving algebra. That's negative 30 plus 4. And yep, that's negative 26. Pause the video and see if you could try number 2 on your own. Unpause the video when you're ready to go over it. All right, hopefully you've given number 2 a try. I'm going to write some rules for us to refer to. My rule is gonna be that you always add or subtract first, then you multiply or divide. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is add or subtract. Problem number two looks like this problem. It looks like the number two example. One matched up with one, two matched up with two. So it's something like two X, or in our case, negative two A, minus a number. You can see that they solved it by adding on both sides, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Plus nine and plus nine. If you like to draw your line, there it is. 
the negative 2a is going to drop down. So negative 2a equals 48. Now, this is a one-step equation. We know if we have a number multiplied by a variable, we have to divide it on both sides. And you keep the same sign because you want the 2's to cancel out. So I need to divide by negative 2. And you get a equals negative 24. So you can see in my work, I added or subtracted, then I multiplied or divided. So that's the same order for every single time. Let's try number three together. So number three looks to me like equation type number four from the two-step options. And I know I need to add or subtract first, multiply divides second. I wanna get rid of this minus one. So in order to do that, I'm gonna add one to both sides. That's my add or subtract step. I know later, I'm gonna to have to multiply or divide. When I do that step, what's left is the x over four. I don't always circle it like I did in my first two examples, but if you like to circle it, you can to show that that's what's dropping down. And you can draw an arrow if you like to, but I don't always do that. Seven plus one is eight. Now I need to do the multiply or divide step. If I look at my one step equation, it looks like number four from that. X over a number. So you can see that they solve that in green by doing times the number times the number. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Times four times four. And I get X equals 32. Box that answer. If I were to check that, it would work out. 32 over 4 minus 1. You have to go in order of operations now. 8 minus 1, that's 7. That's what I wanted. Pause the video and try number 5. Unpause the video when you're ready to go over it. Alright, you could unpause the video. I realized I accidentally said problem 5 and I meant to say problem 4. So, re-pause the video, try problem 4, and um, unpause the video when you're ready to go over it. All right, number four. So I know I'm going to need to add or subtract first, and then I need to multiply or divide. I need to get rid of this 13. I'm working my way into the x. The negative five is too close to the x for me to work with it yet. I have to get rid of that 13 first. I'm left with m over negative five equals seven. 20 minus 13 is seven. Now I need to multiply or divide. Multiply both sides by negative five. Remember when you're multiplying or dividing, you keep the same sign so it cancels out. And you get m equals negative 35. All right. If you already did number five when I accidentally said that, you can keep watching. I'm gonna go over number five next. If you haven't done negative five, if you haven't done problem five yet, pause the video and try problem five. All right, hopefully everybody's done with problem five now. I know I need to add or subtract first, and then I need to multiply and divide. That's my order. So step one, add or subtract. There's a positive two, so I need to subtract two from both sides to make that go away. I'm left with negative 7y equals negative 77. Same sign, so you have to add. Now, step two, divide both sides by negative 7, and you get y equals 11. Same sign, so they are positive at the end. All right, so please uh, finish up the rest of the problems that you're supposed to do.